By the way, the raw ratings, I should mention this. Let me briefly go back, and then I'll explain these raw ratings. So Drew McIntyre gets COVID. He's removed from the show. So Raw opens with Triple H coming down to the ring. Triple H is confronted by Randy Orton. And they agree to do a match in the main event. Triple H is going to wrestle on Raw in the main event of the show. And they go through the whole show and they build it up and they build it up and they build it up. And then he wrestles, granted for three minutes, but he wrestles in the main event. Raw on Monday, 1.82 million viewers at a .55 at 18 to 49. Let's look at the hours. Hour one, 2.02 million viewers. They broke 2 million viewers for the first hour of the show with Triple H coming out and confronting Randy Orton and them announcing that tonight, Triple H is going to wrestle again in the main event of Raw. 2.02 million first hour. 1.80 million second hour. 1.63 million third hour for Triple H getting in the ring and wrestling again. This is one of the biggest first to third hour drops of all time. Now, my understanding is they were going up against a college football game that did 18.22 million viewers, but I was also told, correct me if I'm wrong, This game ended up being a blowout. It was. If anything, if it's a blowout, everybody should have switched to the final hour of Raw to see Triple H wrestling. But no one cared. Here's the only thing I'll say about that was it was about, I'm trying to think it was like 11.15 by the time, Eastern time, by the time that uh, that went into halftime. So I don't know how much scoring was being done towards the end of the, the, the first half. I didn't get a chance to see the game. But if there was a lot of action going on and people obviously weren't, you know, too in tune with seeing Triple H wrestler or whatever. I, I don't know. I don't know if that's got anything to do with it. I don't know if any other programming affected it. What matters is, bottom line is, you lost a fifty. You're you lost four hundred thousand people first to third hour with Triple H with Randy Orton, and that's that's just not good for for anybody, unfortunately. So there you go. This person says it did go up in the demo. I didn't look at all of the. Let's see here. Uh, as far as the lost audience. Uh, so teenage boys went up in the third hour, I guess, but like over fifty dropped. That's Triple H's audience. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, that's their whole audience. But again, I don't. You know, it will be interesting to see. I would, interesting to see where those people moved because politics doesn't move them. There's a lot of reality shows don't move them. Maybe college football was the thing that moved them this time. With, I mean, history, I guess, in some ways, being made with Alabama and all that stuff. But I, I don't know. So here are the uh, women, eighteen to forty-nine, dropped twenty-eight percent first to third hour. Men, eighteen to forty-nine, fourteen percent. Teenage girls dropped fifty percent. Teenage girl or teenage boys gained fourteen percent, and over fifty dropped sixteen percent. So they lost across the board from the first to third hour, except teenage boys, who I guess have heard the legend of Triple H from their fathers and mothers, and tuned in to see this guy in the main event. Everyone else was like, ah, "I'm out of here, forget it." And then someone on the uh, board said, "All those fifty plus falling asleep in the third hour." No, if they fell asleep, you don't change a channel when you're asleep. These are people that change the channel. So it was not sleeping older folks. It was people that decided to to watch something else. People 18 to 34 were born between what? 1986 and 2002, right? You're asking me to do math live on the air? Well, I'm just, you know, it's it's always interesting, like, when they bring back the legends and all that sort of stuff. It's like, you know, if you were born in 86, you know, you were 13 in 1999. I mean, I don't know. I don't know when everybody becomes fans and things like that, but it's... Yeah, it's kind of funny because it's not that far out of the realm that, you know, you want to bring these people back and shock people. It's just that everybody that's 34 with kids and older, just their kids aren't watching this stuff. They just don't care about it. So, again, I don't know how you can uh, it, that's it, it's just kind of crazy looking at the numbers and looking at, you know, 2002. If you're 18 years old, how do legends coming back? How does Sergeant Slaughter 
Or, I mean, even people from the late 90s, wh why would they care? Well, I mean, it's a, the legend of these guys. You see them all the time, and then they come on and get embarrassed, or they come on and they're clowns. I, I just I don't see how this even matters at this point for WWE. And frankly, with how the last Raw went with all of them on there, if they haven't killed the gimmick completely, I don't know what will, because everybody was made to look like a fool. Brian Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer Live. Uh, Mike Sempervivi, also of WrestlingObserver.com. Chat was freaking out for some reason. We couldn't figure out why. Yeah. What a scandal. Oh. My my camera was left on during the break. Did you touch yourself? Dude, are you kidding me? Do I have to mute you at the beginning of the show I'm here? I'm asking, what are they freaking out about? Just because it was little, on. People can't handle any Chico? change. Man. Jesus, get out of here kidding me this is a this is a national television show you asking questions like that i'm disgusted television. if you love these video clips head down there to the bottom right hand side of the screen and click join for just seven dollars and 99 cents per month you get full access to all of the episodes over 300 at current count full-length episodes of the brian and Vinny show wrestling observer live and figure four daily with both landstorm and filthy tom lawler you can also hit that subscribe button and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows are available